Before we flesh out the roster page, we need to get some students to display. Later, we'll want to tie the list into a data store of some sort, but we don't need to do that just to get some data displayed on the page. For that, I'm going to use a custom React hook. As we saw in the guided tour, a React hook is a simple JavaScript function that returns two values inside of an array. Rather than drill down into how hooks work, we can simply wrap a normal one with an array of data and expose it to our roster page. It'll make more sense as we build it. Create a new file in source called student-hook.ts. Inside this file, we'll create an enum, an interface, a constant, and a function. This enum is a convenience that we'll use to mark a student as absent or present. Next, we'll create a student object as an interface. Remember, interfaces do not exist in JavaScript and will completely vanish upon build. Their sole purpose is for us to enable parameter type checking, code completion, and IntelliSense inside the code editor. Those question marks on most of the fields indicate that those fields are optional. So to create a valid student object, I need to provide at least an ID, a first name, and a last name. At this point, I don't know everything that a student object should contain, but those fields should be enough for our purposes now. Let's create an array of students that we can use in place of a database for now. I'm calling it mock students. Now for the custom hook. The function I'm exporting will be called use students. By convention, all hooks begin with the word use. Inside the function, I'm simply calling React's useState function, passing the mock students array as its default value, and directly returning what useState provides us. It's deceptively simple, but that's only because it doesn't do much. Now let's go back into the roster page and make use of it. 